Hey guys, Dan and Mick here from That Pedal Show here for Anderson's TV uh, at NAND 2017. And we are here with the amazing Mr. Joe Morgan uh, from Morgan Amplifiers. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. That's awesome. Thanks for having me again. Yeah, of course. Um, so we've got a new development with your amazing, um, the, is the 20 amplifier? The, oh, the AC20. The AC20. So we have the, the AC20 Deluxe, which yes. has been um, we had had last year, mm -hmm. but you've just bought out the original. Yes, AC20. before there was a deluxe, there was a twenty, a regular old AC twenty. Right. The, uh, the, the deluxe became the deluxe model because it incorporated all the features that people asked me for over the years. Um, one of the things that I'm really passionate about is being able to. I, I would love to have a lower price point amplifier so that more people could reach up and afford my product. Uh, and you know, somebody who's got a good ear shouldn't be necessarily limited by the size of their wallet as yeah. you know, the type of amplifier that they have to purchase. So my desire has been to just drive that, um, uh, just drive the, the price down as low as I can. And to do that, I brought the, the 20 back. Nice. And much like a pilot trying to get an aircraft off the ground that's too heavy, I just started throwing out all, anything that I, I, I possibly could mm -hmm. in order for me just to get to the, the key component, which was the underlying tone. Mm -hmm. And a big part of that was removing the EF86, so it has no EF86, oh, okay. so, unlike its bigger brother. Right, yeah. And it doesn't have a tube rectifier like its bigger brother. Right. So it's a little bit more immediate. Mm -hmm. uh, and it actually has a little bit better, I would say, it stays cleaner longer than the regular AC20 okay. Deluxe, nice. um, which is, you know, both good and bad. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Um, but yeah, it allowed us to bring the amp down to a price point that's $500 lower than the deluxe model. Okay. And it just makes it a little bit easier for people to you know, want to reach up or step up into that. But it still has some of the key features, like um, just that, that AC20 tone, mm -hmm. that, just that, that classic you know, EL84, chimey class A thing. But it also has power scaling in it so that you can talk over the amp, you can bring it down oh, to okay. a quarter of a watt. So it's really functional, it's really usable, works great with a pedal board. Uh, it's just more more affordable. Okay, let's have, let's have a listen. Yeah. Um, it's a good start. Okay, so. <laughs> It's, it's, it's truly like the perfect amp for just about any type of um, live situation where you have to control your, the overall volume you have, or at home, um, if you want to be able to use it uh, without pissing off your wife or your neighbors, you know, late night recording, that kind of thing. Because the, the power level control brings it all the way back down to a quarter of a watt, mm -hmm. and with that, uh, it doesn't change the tonality, just like its big brother, it doesn't change the tonality at all. So one of the things, we pull that back up, Okay, so that's really kind of over the top, right? It's way too much delay and we've got so much overdrive going. But the thing is, I haven't touched my overdrive or my delay settings and you can play at this level and it behaves exactly the same way as the rig would have Absolutely. And there are a lot of amps that I played that have a scaling feature in them like that, and I find I found that when I would turn those down, then I would also have to adjust my board and my yeah. levels and everything else because it was changing the compression of the front end and the way it felt and everything else. That's that's actually mega. We've, we've talked about this quite a bit. You know the way that the amp reacts differently, especially with the output section, even with a lot of the you know attenuation right. that's built into a lot of modern amplifiers. Yeah. That it, it changes the what the, the just. The, imp the input sensitivity. Yeah, so it, rather than just lowering your your volume, you end up having to yeah, right. run through your entire pedal board and your guitar feels weird and it's like... That's so cool, Joe, right. that's so, so cool. So uh, is, it, is it doing more than, than just, than just uh, variable voltage inside? No, it's doing very variable voltage inside, but it's doing it right. Okay. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. And, th and that's the... And that's the part that a lot of guys don't get. Mm -hmm. You know, when they go inside, it's there, there are certain components you just have to leave alone. There's certain things that need to have their own rail and their own voltage mm -hmm. that does not change 
And if you don't do that, you end up with this odd pile of mush mm. that you get out of a lot of scaling amps. So they, do, they, they tend to cave so quickly. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, that's the, the, one of the real reasons I started, you know, building these and putting the power scaling in. It's just after trying to use power scaling on so many other amps mm. and seeing what they were doing, uh, you know, electronically, and going like, you, no, 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 you're doing this wrong. You know, it's like this doesn't shouldn't be implemented this way because you're affecting everything, sure. and I just want to affect the output section. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Have Shrang, Mick. I just want to hear you play, play some of those tasty tones. <laughs> brother has so it takes out some of the wolfiness especially on that but it's even still like if we go super high gain on it roll off your volume control Almost like now like back to the bridge and, and let it go. And watch this, it's a two channel amp. Kids, learn something new. It's a toggle switch. Learn how to use it. Awesome. Thank you so much, mate. It sounds amazing. Oh, amazing. Thanks for coming by, guys. Yeah, cheers. All right. See you soon, guys. Bye.